And now, ASAP Science presents the elements of the periodic table. There's hydrogen. The most abundant element in the universe. Then helium. Then balloons. Lithium. Batteries. Beryllium. Whole bunch of stuff. Boron. Whole bunch of stuff. Carbon everywhere. Nitrogen all through the air. With oxygen so you can breathe in fluorine for your pretty teeth. Neon to light up the sign. Sodium for salty times. Magnesium. Alloys. Aluminium. Alloys. Probably with magnesium. Silicon. Electronics. Glass. And it occurs naturally in sand. Phosphorus. Phosphates. Then sulfur. Which smells like rotten eggs. Chlorine. Has two uses that I know of. It can be used to clean swimming pools, or it can react with sodium to make salt. And then they're gone. Like neon, it can be used for signs. Potassium. And nutrition. And calcium, so you'll grow strong. Scandium. Alloys. Titanium. Much stronger alloys. And vanadium. You guessed it, alloys. And chromium. And Do I need to say alloys every time there is a transition metal? And manganese. Finally, something different, batteries. This is the periodic table, noble gas is stable, halogens and alkali react aggressively, each period will see new outer shells while electrons are added moving to the right, iron is the 26th and cobalt is between iron and nickel, just saying that, so I don't have to say alloys again, nickel coins you get, copper, possibly the most famous alloy in existence, bronze, Zinking. alloys, and nutrition, gallium, electronics, germanium and more electronics. Arsenic. Poison. Medium. Alloys. Roman film will krypton help light up your room. Rubidium. Fireworks. Sodium. X-rays. Then yttrium. Alloys, TVs, and superconductors. Zirconium. Zirconium, as well as the following elements, are mainly used for alloys except where noted. Niobium. Niobium is actually very similar to titanium. Molybdenum technetium. Because of its radioactivity and rarity, research. Ruthenium. Jewelry. Rhodium. More jewelry. And palladium. Even more jewelry. Silverware. Then cadmium. Whole bunch of stuff. And indium. LCD screens. Tin cans. Antimony. Alloys. Then delirium. And Solar panels. Iodine. Surprisingly, nutrition. Xenon. And Lighting. And cesium. And Atomic clocks. Barium is 56 and this is where the table splits, where lanthanides have just begun. Most of the lanthanides are mainly used for alloys or research except where noted. Lanthanums, lighters, cerium and praseodymium. Glasswork, neodymium's next to glasswork and motors. Neodymium magnets are actually alloys of boron, iron, and neodymium. Promethium then 62s. Because of its radioactivity and rarity, research. Samarium, europium, lasers, gadolinium, and superconductors and nuclear reactors. Erbium, fluorescent lamps. Disposal. Control rods for nuclear reactors. Simulium, er superconductors and nuclear reactors. Erbium, thulium, terbium, lutetium. Excuses for me to make another Lucario joke. Half medium. Control rods for nuclear reactors. Ten tons. More electronics. And then we're on to alloys and light bulbs. Three medium. Lasers. Osmium and fountain pens and other applications that require strength and hardness. And iridium. Alloys. Platinum. To make you rich till you grow old. Gold to make you rich till you grow old. Mercury to tell you when it's really cold. Thallium. Rodenticide. And leather. Alloys. Is it for your tummy? Polonia. Excuses for me to make another Poland joke. Oh. Astatine would not be yummy. The rest of the elements are mostly radioactive and mostly used for research except where noted. Radar and CM will last a little time. Radium. Then actinize at 89. This is the periodic table. Noble gas is stable. Halogens and alkali react aggressively. Each period will see new outer shells. Will electrons are to the right. Actinium, thorium, protactinium, uranium, neptunium, plutonium, americium, curium, berkelium, california. Lorentium is the last element in the actinide series. Excuses for me to make another Organison joke. And then we're done.
Jesus.